Ooh, yeah! This is Christian Michael back with another episode of Christian Michael's Figure Review, number 52 to be exact. And if you haven't figured it out yet, I um, guess I'm going to have to tell you that we're doing another Macho Man Randy Savage figure here on this show. We've done a couple of Savage figures already. We did the Macho King figure. If you're wondering why I'm going like this, is because my display of figures is over here, and I'm just double-checking to see which ones I did. So we did the Macho King figure. We did the NWO Macho Man figure. We did the Defining Moments figure. I probably showed you the three other Savage figures that I have in other episodes. So, uh, yeah, we've done a lot of Savage figures, which is great because... Mattel's done an awesome job with them, and they're cool, and I like the Macho Man, and I'm glad that he's got figures coming out. So, now we're going to do Elite Series 23 Macho Man Randy Savage, which features a brand new face scan for the Macho Man, and a new, you know, a new attire that we haven't seen him in yet. So, let's check him out. Here he is, the Macho Man. Oh, yeah! There he is with the classic WWF Championship belt. And there he is. This is his WrestleMania 8 attire, in case you didn't know, when he had a classic match with Ric Flair over the championship. And here you can see it says, comes with shirt and WWF championship, or WWE championship, whatever. There he is, probably just after snapping into a Slim Jim. This is a flashback figure. Let's turn it over. You want to read the bio, you hit pause here. There you can see the other jerks in the set. We reviewed everybody that I have in this set. No need to go over it again that we are not going to be seeing John Cena. Okay. Well, there he is in the package. The Macho Man. That's just so much fun. When I was in like seventh grade, there was two things I did all the time in class. One was <sighs> gold dust, and the other one was the oh yeah. I sound a lot more like Randy Savage when I was in 7th grade than I do now at the age of 29. But, that's neither here nor there. Let's get him open up. The Macho Man. It's just so much fun. It really is to say it. Just try it at home right now while, while I'm opening this package. Just say it. The Macho Man. Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. There you go. Just tell me it's not fun. All right, look at that. Out of package. There we go. Another nice, shiny, winged eagle WWF Championship belt to add to the collection. Can never have enough title belts. All right, here's Savage. This is his WrestleMania 8 attire. As I said, when he defeated uh, Ric Flair for the title in one of the main events of WrestleMania 8. Uh... The shirt buttons down the side. Why it does that, I don't know. Why would you want to take it off? Because now you just have Macho Man in long tights. Uh, this is the new Savage head scan that everybody was bitching about that I saw on, you know, the forums and the groups and whatnot. He he kind of looks like a homeless caveman with the way his hair, uh, his hair is. It's easy for me to say, but. Let's compare them to, I don't know, what to say. Where is it? Here it is. This, yeah, I don't know, if, this was the first Savage figure that I bought, but I don't know if it was the first one that came out. This is from the two-pack with um, CM Punk. There you can see where he looks like Jesus here, and here he looks like a caveman. So let's get them both in the frame. Maybe this one was supposed to be Weepin' Lanny Poffo, and this one was really supposed to be the Macho Man. Oh yeah, drop the elbow. Oh, here we go. So this figure, you know, elite style, articulation, so you all know what that entails. And you can see the design on this leg, nothing, turn it over, there's the design. On this half, nothing, turn it over, there's the design. So, I don't know what Savage was going for. One quarter empty, or one quarter full, one quarter empty. You know, it was just a giant mess. There's some detail going down the back. There he is with his WWE title belt. And, oh, look at that. Ain't that something new? Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. But 
So you can pop that right back in there. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? Do you think I should do the head swap? I don't know if I'm exactly crazy about this, uh, this head scan here on Savage. It's not terrible, but he looks like he's got chipmunk cheeks going on, too, in addition to the homeless caveman look. Now, this would be a great Savage for them to make in an Elite with the pink tights with the star and the Macho Man on the butt. That would be a great Savage to make an Elite of. Never understood why they have this white paint going up on all the uh, basic Savage's legs. The WrestleMania 5 one is also like this, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty cool figure. We're going to slap the, uh, the title belt on him. Can we get the title belt on him? Is it going to stay? Come on, title belt. No, title belt wants to be difficult. So, like I said previously when we reviewed the Elite 23 Triple H, I hate the fact that these things are such a pain in the balls to button back on. But there it is now. All it's in... No, see. There it is. All in its button glory. The full effect of this Macho Man Randy Savage. There you go. There's you see the detail on the shirt matching the detail on the pants. So again, I you know I like Savage. I'm gonna get his figures when they come out. Not the greatest head scan in the world. Not sure if we should do the head swap from this basic, but here he is. Dig it, brother. And there the plate came out again. So fuck you, Mattel. You really pissed me off on this one. Alright guys, as always, rate, comment, share, and subscribe, that's right. Um, Twitter, the movie review website, you got it all by now. Links in the description below. So for Christian Michaels, Christian Michaels figure review, I'm Christian Michael. And Christian Michael says goodbye.